Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about some um, advanced uh, aggregate functions. In the last tutorial, we talked about some uh, basic aggregate functions that are uh, min, max, uh, sum, average, and count star. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about some advanced aggregate functions, also about some uh, statistical functions that, that come under the uh, aggregate functions only. So the first uh, aggregate function I'm going to talk about is the array aggregate. That is, uh, first of all, we should view the data. That is, uh, select star from uh, company. So as you would see that uh, this is my data of uh, nine rows. So what array aggregate does is that it aggregates the value inside a normal array. Like suppose I want an array type data and I want all these uh, rows to be uh, aggregated into some array. Like I want the names uh, column to be uh, aggregated into an array field. So for that we have the array aggregate function. So what you have to do is uh, select array underscore agg and name. If I want to uh, put all these names into an array so I will just use array underscore agg name from company so you would run this and you see that this turns out to be an array of all the names now so similarly the second function is the json underscore aggregate or json underscore agg that uh, aggregates all the names into JSON format. So now, as you as you uh, as you saw that uh, this is an array format. Now, if you write JSON here, you would see that it would encode it in a JSON format. So this is the way that we aggregate normal uh, rows into array or JSON format. So the next thing is that um, if you want a key value pair. Uh, as in a normal uh, JSON so for that you have uh, JSON object aggregate so what it does is that it creates a key and a value for example I want to create a key that is the name of the user and the value would be the age of the user so for that uh, I will use JSON underscore uh, object underscore uh, AGG and the name is my key and the age is my value so you will see uh, that this gives me an oh, uh, object so you would see that this gives me uh, a key value pair or JSON for my data that is Hina air is the key and 16 is its value suppose and uh, similarly that uh, the name here is the key and the age is the value of uh, each JSON type data. So uh, this was uh, about the arrays and the JSON aggregates. Now I'm going to move on to some uh, statistical uh, functions. So um, statistical functions include uh, like you could find the standard deviation of a particular uh, data set or a standard deviation of a particular row if it is in the numerical format for example uh, for the standard deviation you could write std ev stdev that is uh, or uh, stddev and h is my numeric type data here so this would give me the standard deviation of the h if you don't know what standard deviation is probably you should uh, google it first and uh, you see the standard deviation here is uh, 8.01 similarly we could find the variance of uh, some numeric type rows you could just write straight away variance and now i'll see the variance of the h that comes out to be 64.25 so this is the way to find the standard deviation and uh, variance of uh, numeric type data in our uh, database so one more thing that I'm going to talk about is the mode 
mode is basically uh, a particular number or a particular string that repeats the most number of time uh, in a particular data set so to find the mode we have some different method we need to use within group clause for finding the mode I'll just uh, demonstrate a single uh, function that is the mode function that is available in this clause so you could just write select mode and uh, so right uh, within group and you need to order by the attribute you need to find the mode of like uh, I want to see that uh, which age is uh, repeating the most number of times so I will order it by age and uh, you would just run it and you see that the number 34 is repeating the most number of times so you could just check it out that is select star from uh, company and you see that uh, 34 1 2 and 3 yeah so 34 is repeating three times so that is why the mode is 34 for the attribute age similarly you could see it for salary like uh, I could see that uh, 4000 is being repeated thrice so it should show me 4000 oops I need to get over this and uh, yeah so it shows me 4000 so this was all for the advanced uh, aggregate functions so thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned